Hey there YouTube. I am today going to change out the gears in a 2085 with a metal gear set. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can get this gear set, but this is the servo out of my X Max. You can see I've got it torn apart right here. But um, within the first few minutes, I stripped this gear that the servo horn rides on. The servo horn's teeth look a lot better, but this one is rounded off pretty good. And so what ends up happening is the servo horn jumps a few teeth on here. So we're gonna exchange this out for metal gears. What we're gonna need is a little bit of silicone grease. And let's see what we can do to change them out. Now I've already loosened up a few of these screws. I'm pretty sure all we have to do is take out the four corners here. And the ones on the top. One, two, three, and four. Gonna tighten, sorry about that. Gonna tighten this one up just a little bit more just so the bottom doesn't fall off. And now we're gonna take, get the ones here on top. Want to be careful not to leave these screws and we'll now easily take it off now you've got a rubber gasket that goes along the edge you want to be careful not to use lose that and this kit does not come with the bearing so we're going to want to be sure to uh, keep that bearing and also um, on top of the bearing i think there's a little shim um, that we have to look out for and hopefully not lose. It looks like we actually might have another one right here. So uh, let's see what we can figure out. We'll go ahead and move these aside. And we're going to go ahead and open up the kit. Now this kit is a good bit cheaper than uh, going ahead and upgrading to the 2085X, the whole servo replacement. And we're just gonna give it a try, and if this doesn't hold up, we will upgrade the servo itself. And we have the gears. So, judging by it, it looks like it's gonna go something like this. Looks like the order it'll go in. Okay, so let's get the bearing off. And like I said, there's a little shim on top of that bearing. It looks like we get a new one, but we still wanna make sure that we don't lose it just in case. It always helps to take a picture of uh, this kind of stuff before you do it, just to help out. Okay, so the bearing is off. Now this gear. Now, the main gear here. This guy. And then this one here on the bottom. I get the switch to flathead. Seems to get me in just a little bit more trouble. Let me grab a pair of pliers real fast. That'll probably be a little easier. Try to be easy with it so we don't mess it up. You never know. We could always use it as a spare. Not, not uh, working it like that, though we won't. <laughs> Oh, 
oh, pin, pin comes out. And then the gear comes right off. Duh. And looks like we might have to pick this bearing off as well. Maybe not. want to be easy and try to pick it up evenly as soon as we get this bearing off I think we'll be good there we go all right so I did not see one of those uh, shims for that bearing so we should be good there I just checked the bottom side of that other gear so we are going to set this right here and reinstall our pin. We'll go ahead and put a little dab of lithium grease on there as well. Or, uh, sorry, silicon grease, not lithium grease. Should be good. I may even rub some of the stuff off the others to get it on there because the gears didn't really strip. It was only that outside one where the servo horn goes on. But uh, we got the bottom on there. Next, let's reinstall our bearing. Looks good. Now. This guy is going to be not yet. So we'll start here. Yep. So let's put some more of this white grease on here too. Just want to get a little bit of both just because the kind that I have looks a little bit different. Lubricant should be lubricant in our case though. It should all work just fine. And we'll dab a little bit more on there once we get everything installed. Uh oh, there we go. Oh, that snapped into place nicely. And there we go. Next, we want to put, I'm just gonna double check to make sure this shim here is the same thing as the one I have. So it looks a little bit larger. It is. Same thing. Good. So, we're going to throw on the bearing, the new shim, and did this kit come with a new o-ring? And we'll install the o-ring. And now, we are ready to install the cover after we apply a little bit of grease. And that should do great. So now we are going to install the top cover put our two short screws in the top switch back to Phillips head
And this is also a good time to put a new servo horn on, whether it be aluminum or a, a factory replacement. Um, my new servo horn is not in yet but the metal is going to be harder than my current servo horn. So if my servo horn does have a little bit of damage, uh, my factory one, and it strips, luckily I know that that servo horn will strip and not the top gear because this one is metal. So this my servo horn is now my weak point, not my servo. So now I'm installing the four long screws on the bottom. Sorry about that guys, my uh, phone went dead. But I did skip one thing in uh, the uh, video there, and that was this plastic piece. You see it in the bottom of the uh, drive gear here for the servo. I did skip that, and what that does is it turns a small potentiometer in there. And so I had to take this gear off because the servo was free spinning because it didn't know the position of it. And whenever you do that, you want to make sure that this pin on the gear is facing this way and doesn't go down into the gears. As you can see, it doesn't get in the gears. So you want it to be like that so that it does not uh, bind up against the gears. So uh, we learned something there and uh, we will check back. All right, so we're just doing a quick test. We got everything powered up. The servo grabbed center right away and uh, we are back in working order. I'm trying to get a video here at the same time. You can see it's turning. I'm trying to be easy with it so it doesn't fall off. And I'm just kind of getting some of that uh, lube on there and I may add a little bit more. 